Hey guys, we're back for another Bandai Tamashii Nations review, SH Figure Arts Majin Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z. So this is the latest in the DBZ line. We have got standard packaging, so this is everything that we've come to expect. Thus far, we've got product shots here on the side with Vegeta in the window there, and then the back is just loaded up with some more product shots. So let's just get down to it, pull them out, and take a look. All right, guys, here he is out of the package. And after this review, if you're interested in snatching up some Dragon Ball Z goodness for yourself, head on over to Big Bad Toy Store. I will put a link down in the description below. But for this particular figure, we've got some interesting things going on. He is a lot of new parts. We don't have a figure that's like this. But I think there are some things that are kind of lacking in the overall package scope of this particular figure. So we're going to talk about articulation first. You know, that's kind of the norm. Articulation, paint, and sculpt. And then we'll get into his accessories. So for articulation, we've got a, a pretty solid example of a modern figure arts figure. We've got a head that can look down, back, the neck is articulated so it does move a bit. You are going to run into the issue that we've been seeing where the neck fills the head cavity quite a bit. So some movement is a little restricted, but it's not too bad. Head can swivel but he's got a decent range of motion, mostly on the up. You have a, have a bit of an issue there. Arms can go out. You can swivel them around. We, of course, have got a bicep swivel. We've got standard double-jointed elbows. We've got ball hinge wrists. We've got upper torso articulation, which actually moves pretty well, especially going backwards. Rotate him on the waist, up and down, and, of course, you can rotate at that torso as well just a little bit. Legs go all the way out, so if you need Vegeta to do splits, you've got the one right here. Very, very high kick, and all the way on the back. There's really nothing getting in the way, uh, just because he's wearing the tight-fitting bodysuit. There's nothing to get in the way of any of his articulation. You can rotate at the thigh, double-jointed knees. There is nothing at the boot, as, as is kind of the norm. We've got rocker, hinge, rotation, and toe articulation down here on those feet. So, like I said, he is pretty much, you know, kind of your standard figure arts. You're not going to get anything extra here, but you're also certainly not missing anything either. As far as paint and sculpt on this guy go, I am relatively happy with him. I do think that he is, in general, slightly on the more boring side in terms of his physical appearance, just because he doesn't really have a lot going on. You know, he's wearing that blue bodysuit. But I do think that uh, Bandai did a decent enough job with what they were given, although it definitely does have a few quirks here and there, to say the least. As far as, starting at the top, as far as the head goes, I think the head and the hair are just about perfect. I don't have any issues there. The face paint, the expression painted on his face is cleanly applied. The Majin M is very nicely applied. And then we do have some shading at Vegeta's always enormous Widow's Peak. Of course, this figure is a, a decent amount of new parts because we don't have another figure that looks like this. We don't have a figure with this kind of bodysuit going on. He's also got all these sculpted veins popping out on his shoulders, on his biceps, and then on some of the extra heads as well. Uh, I think those are sculpted very nicely. You've got the Saiyan gloves, you've got the Saiyan boots, and then kind of the standard bodysuit. I do think that there is maybe a slight variance in the blues between the abdomen and his, uh, his upper torso. And then, of course, the clavicle area on the neck is painted flesh tones, and it matches pretty well. It's not 100%, and, you know, it rarely is, but it's close enough that it's it's not really a, a glaring thing. I do think that, uh, that, though, that there is a little bit of a variance between this top and this middle piece, and it also seems like they have a slight different finish to them. This seems a little shinier. Uh, one of the big things that I have noticed, and this is kind of my only real gripe with the figure in a general sense, is that something that we've gone kind of backwards on, and we've kind of, it's kind of gone here and there, you know, up and down with uh, figure arts lately, is shading. And he's back to being one of the figures that doesn't really have any. All that we have is some on the thighs here. Just like a little quick with uh, hit with the airbrush or something, and he's got some dark shading on the inside of his thighs. It's not the pee pants diaper thing, but uh, he does have it on those thighs. It's cleanly applied, and it looks fine. Actually, it looks pretty solid where it is. But in a general sense, he doesn't really have anything else. There's not a lot that brings out the sculpt. And then if you're looking at him from the back, I mean, there's just nothing going on back here. So in a general sense, I think he is, he's just a fine figure. He's not going to blow your mind. He's not blowing my mind in a, in an articulation sense. He's perfectly fine. It's standard stuff for figure art. So I'm happy with that. But when it comes to the paint and the sculpt, he's just, he's just a basic Vegeta figure that happens to be wearing something different that while well done, isn't necessarily going to blow your mind. As far as the accessories go, this guy has a handful of accessories, don't get me wrong, uh, but that's where I think the package in general loses a bit of traction. I'm just fine with the figure on its own. 
but the accessories leave a little bit to be desired. As far as hands go, you know, because that's kind of a big thing for figure arts, we've got the style pose, kind of three finger pointing hand, which is quintessential for Vegeta in this form. We've got two open style gripping hands or style pose hands, and then we have got two flat palm hands, so you could pose him behind an effect piece that he unfortunately does not come with. In addition to the five hands, we have got four swappable faces. We have got one where Vegeta is open mouth, smiling kind of maniacally. We've got one where he's gritting his teeth. We have got one where he's smirking. And then we have another one that looks almost identical to his standard face, except he has kind of the popping veins in his forehead. I think that one's kind of unnecessary. Uh, I understand why it's there, but I'm not sure I really need it. But we do have a good spread of heads here. Uh, I think that in general, we could have used probably a few more hands and as usual, an effect piece. And because why not, here's a quick comparison between our new Vegeta, obviously in the middle here, with a few others. So we've got the, this is the premium color Super Saiyan Vegeta. We have got the uh, Super Saiyan God, the new version of the original Vegeta, and then this is the uh, Planet Arlia version of the old style original Vegeta. So as you can see, he scales just about the same with all of them, although this guy is still a little on the small side. So he fits in line with the rest of your Dragon Ball Z figure arts pretty well. So overall, I like this figure. I like this Vegeta. Is he a great figure? No, not really. But he's certainly not a bad figure. Uh, I do enjoy this particular version of Vegeta. Vegeta is my favorite Dragon Ball Z character, so I'm already partial. But that said, I do think this package is kind of lacking, especially in the accessory department. I mean, this screams for an effect piece because we have so few hands. Granted, we do have four faces, but one of them I think is rather unnecessary. Uh, I just wish we had something a little bit more, especially because this is a standard price figure arts. So you're paying normal price, but you're getting a little bit less than usual. That said, I do think he's well articulated. He looks fine. You know, he looks very much just like he jumped right out of the anime. Uh, so I'm okay with the figure overall. I just wish that the overall package had been uh, quote unquote sweetened a little bit. I need another effect piece, Bandai. Just, just give me one, please. So that's going to do it for this look at the SH Figure Arts Majin Vegeta figure from Bandai Tamashi Nations. Let me know what you guys think. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time.